storm tracker picking up some moisture falling out to the northwest of us, but here in southeastern Idaho and western Wyoming, we're looking dry tonight. We're going to stay that way for the next few days. A few clouds tonight. We're thinking partly cloudy for most of the region, but a lot of that is going to clear out overnight as high pressure builds in below us. That high pressure sticking around for the next few days. But we do have a low off the, a rather strong low off the west coast there, and that's going to drop down through Oregon and Washington over Idaho come Friday, Saturday. And with it, we could see a little bit more moisture this next weekend. For your low temperatures, we're hitting 30s and 40s in the Snake River area, mostly 40s. Island Park there, 36. Rexburg, 41. Blackfoot, 40. And for the Central Mounds, we're thinking 30s and 40s as well. 30 degrees in Stanley, so rather cold there. A little bit warmer in Salmon, 42. Chalice, 42 as well. And of course, Western Wyoming, we're looking at 30s there. 34 in Yellowstone, so a little warmer than Stanley. 37 in Jackson and Afton, 35. Southeast Highlands, sunny tomorrow. Income with a high of 77, 71 in Lava. And Montpelier, a high of 75. Upper Highlands in Western Wyoming, mostly sunny. A few clouds there. Driggs, a high of 72. Yellowstone, 62 and 70 in Afton. Breezy tomorrow for the Central Mounds, 15 to 25 miles per hour. Chalice, 78. Salmon, a high of 80. And Ledor, a high of 73. And for the Snake River Plain, more sunshine there. Pocatello, a high of 79. Blackfoot, 78. St. Anthony, 76. If you're looking to travel tomorrow, this is where it's going to be warm. The Boise area, western Wyoming there, looking at warm, warm temperatures, 88 in Boise. More upper 70s in our neck of the woods, kind of flirting with 80 degrees there. Let's take a look at our Southeast Idaho Chevy Dealer 7-day forecast. Next couple days, we're looking sunny. Tomorrow could be a bit breezy before clouds start to come in the middle of the week. 20% chance of some rain on Friday. And then we see that chance go up a little bit for Saturday and Sunday as temperatures drop down. In Idaho Falls, much the same. Breezy the next couple days and sunny with that high pressure. Do see clouds build in to the middle of the week there, 20% Friday. And we're a little a chance of some rain for your weekend. In the Teton area, not just a chance of rain this coming weekend, but a chance of some snow as well Saturday and Sunday, and a chance of some thunderstorms on Friday, breezy Tuesday and Wednesday. In the Central Mountains, a couple days of breezy, and then things get cloudy Wednesday through Friday. And again, a slight chance of some snow mixed with rain Saturday and Sunday. That would be in the morning hours where we're looking at 33, 34 degrees as we cool down towards the end of the week there. 